Yo, Famicom again, and this is uh, the second video I'm recording uh, today because I have a lot of manga that I recently hauled yet again. So, gotta make another manga haul video. And these ones, just looking for most of them, are Gyro related, seeing that as a theme to be honest. But we've got some more uh, contemporary stuff as well. So, let's just get right into the stuff. This is probably my most exciting um, haul or book I've hauled recently. This was from Sean at Japan Book Hunter. He got this for me. I bought this off him. Thank you for the sticker slash bookmark. Go hit him up for amazing manga that you can get uh, outside of Japan because yeah, no one really sells this sort of stuff. So this is the Avant-Garde Manga Collection by Gendai Comics. Oh. And there are a series of this. So Gendai Comics has released a couple of different things. Some of them are like pre-war manga collections. Some of them are... Oh, most of them are mangaka collections. So there's like a Tsuge Yoshiharu collection. There's a Takita Yu. There's... Uh, Mizuki Shigeru, pretty much a, a collection of different things. But this one in particular, I really, really wanted. And thanks to Sean, I was able to get my hands on it. So the reason why I wanted to get this avant-garde collection is because it has one of the most stacked lineups I've seen for an anthology book. Uh, I haven't even looked at all of them yet, but uh, you have people like Ak Akasegawa Genpei, you have Sasaki Maki, uh, Taiga Tateshi is in here too, Tsuke Taro, uh, Hiroshi Nakamura, Hayashi Seichi, Yuzan Aki, I think Takita Yu is in, in here as well. Extremely, extremely stacked lineup. And if I open just the start of things, so these are, these are just some like little advert things. I'll pop them open because. They're quite old, but for anyone who's interested, just a little bit. Um, okay, so popping it open, the first couple pages are all color pages from each of the mangaka and artists. Oh, sorry, there's like a little annoying fly. Here's the list. Of everyone in here, and I'll show off because I'll do I'll do like a separate video on this book just by itself because this is going to be an amazing book to read through. So I'll just do a little bit of a, a flick through. You've got Yosuke Noi as well, really cool. Hayashi Seichi, amazing stuff. But if I flick through the rest of the book. Again, this is an avant-garde manga collection. That's Tsuge Taro. Amazing stuff in here. Taiga Tateshi. Sasaki Maki. Toshio Saeki. All of the very revered and in-demand uh, manga card in the industry. Yosuke Inoue. More Yosuke Inoue. Yuzan Aki, Akasegawa Genpei, which I am slowly getting into. Very, oh, I just love this book. There's just pretty much every mangaka here and artist here. I want to, oh, that was a bit of nudity, but should be fine. Uh, that I want to get into. They're all in here. So it's amazing that all of this is just in one book. So it's like a little snapshot of everyone. But some of the manga card definitely I'm going to use this book to look into them more, experience their works for the first time. So yeah, this is the Avant-Garde collection, the Avant-Garde manga collection by Gendai Comics. Thank you to Sean at Japan Book Hunter again. Amazing, amazing book. And also in that same haul, uh, from Sean, I also got yet another Ichiba Daisuke book, this time titled Midare Gami. 
and of course it's one of his self-published I believe works mainly illustrations but you've also got uh, art, artworks as well manga all the good stuff you'd want from Ichiba I'm always on the journey oh I have this I have this um, artwork here but in a full-sized like poster framed it's really cool to see the original here but yeah I'm always on my Ichiba collecting journey can't get enough of it still um surprisingly with all the Ichiba stuff I own I'm still missing quite a lot of his uh, his works the reason why is because early in his career he did a lot of self-published stuff so that's where uh, the difficulties have been in terms of finding things. I've, I've pretty much gotten everything from his more recent works, but yeah, his self-published stuff, like 2000s and like before that, they're super hard to find. And so still, still finding, trying my best to find all of them. I'll see if there's like, is there a table of contents here somewhere? No. So yeah, some of these works they do pop up in his uh, other like uh, art collections, like Buddhism. Some appear in um, yes, I I don't I forgot the names off the top of my head, but some of these do appear in other art collection, art book collections that he has. So yeah, you can still pick, you can still see these artworks in other books, but I just wanted to have the original version. Uh, of this. I will check this when this was published. I'll put it in the description. But super happy for picking this one again. Uh, so yeah, thank you Sean for that. All right, so moving on. We've got some other works by Garo artists in manga cup. So this one here is by Hagayuka and it's titled Tsukari Okyaksama. Not sure what that translates to. But I, well, the first, I, I read a short story by her in a Garu issue. Oh, I think it was a 1983 issue. Had a King Terry cover. <laughs> That's all I remember. But I loved her art style. And her, her story was really weird. I think it was this one. Natsu Yasumi? Yeah, Rooney chan no Natsu Yasumi. So Rooney's um, summer holiday. Well, this is a really weird one of oh I love the fact that this is a color actually. I haven't flicked through this fully yet, but it was like a weird one about finding fruits that could turn her grandfather or father back into tip top shape, that sort of thing. Uh, really weird, but yeah, I loved the art style. So I picked up I, I believe this is the only Tangle Bond released by her unfortunately I would have loved to have more works by Haga Yuka but you know you, you get what you can so I have no idea what sort of stories she creates I've only ever read the one short story from her in that 1983 Gary issue but yeah she was uh appearing in the the later uh sort of stages of Gary so I believe like 80s forwards probably 70s forward. I'm not too entirely sure about that, but compared to, you know, the Mizuki, Tsuge, the, you know, Hayashi, definitely a later generation compared to those artists and manga in Ingara. So yeah, Haga Yuka this stuff, and I'll show off the inside too. I am a perfect guest. I, I believe Oh no, never mind. Uh, yep, that was Tsukari Okyaksama by Hagayuka. And here we've got another Garo, um, or a manga who published in Garo. This is titled Swan Lake by Hisauchi Michio, who does um, Heta Uma sort of styled works that are leaning towards the more erotic side of things as well so some of the panels i can't show but yeah more of the heta uma style i i also do believe that their works are similar to hagayuka uh, a later generation of garo artists and mangaka so i do have a couple other 
I'm gonna skip over there. There's, there's a lot of nudity now that I look about it. I look at it. I didn't realize there was that much. Sorry about that. I'm trying to find something I can show you. Uh, I do have other books by Isauchi, which is like they've released actually a lot of Tunkleborns. So this is not the only one they've released in contrast to Hagayuka. They've released quite a bit. So hunting down their stuff is going to be a continuous journey. But yeah, sorry, I'm trying to find something, anything I can show. But yeah, I love the art style. It's not like exactly hit that one, it's bordering on it, I guess, just subjectively in my opinion. But seems like a lot of uh, erotic material on this. So let me just check when this is published, this collection. Mm, does it say here? Nope. Ah. Oh, it's in. Um, Oh, 1984? Well, I'll check and put it in the description. But yeah, this is a list of when all the works themselves were published. And were any of these published in Gaara? Oh, none of them were. Got manga, Dynamike, manga, uh, oh, your SM, oh, SM Club. I think I know that one. I've heard of it. Ah, oh, I thought these were published in Gaara. I'll check. I'm pretty sure Pisachi Michio was in Gaara, but probably this collection of stories weren't in Gaara. It's all from the 80s. 79, 80, 81. Interesting stuff. Yeah. Pisachi Michio, love the cover of this one too. And I'll just open the inside to see if there's any... map. No, it's all blank. It's just that. Yeah, so... Sachi Michio, let's move on to something more recent. Uh, this is Pandora by Hagi Wara Rei. And this is an English release by, of course, Glacier Bay Books. So Pandora, the resounding sound of footsteps. Here is the inside of it. Hagi Wara Rei, I believe there are more contemporary artists as well, but I haven't read this yet. This is a big book as well, compared to like, pull up this, Gende Comics. Oh, it's actually kind of similar-ish. Yeah, compared to the Swan Lake book, quite big, quite big, kind of heavy too, but I believe this is all in color. Yeah, there you go. Sort of watercolor style to the book. I have no idea what this story is about but a beautiful book either way i love the quality of the book too it's very sturdy the page quality stock paper they've used is very nice too but yeah i can't wait to get into this one uh, as well because i do have some other uh glacier bay books pickups but that can be for another day another video. All right, another manga card I'm very excited to get into. Also from the same, uh, the very same issue that I read the Hagayuka story from. This is Osamu Kano, Kano Osamu. And it's two short story collections, which I can't read the names of them right now, but I'll put them in the description. But Kano Osamu has been one of my most desired uh, manga at the moment because of that one short story in um, the 1983 Gara issue. That one was called The Landscape with Cows. It, it blew my mind the first time I uh, read that story. So I've been hunting his books down ever since. But he does do Hetakuma style stories as well. Yeah, it's a little bit raunchy sometimes, but the landscape with cow story just like oh, blew my mind. It was a very emotional and such an interesting concept of identity and cows. But yeah, it is on the some of his um landscapes do remind me of like Suzuki Oji's uh, landscapes as well. 
So here are more like Hitta Uma style works. It wasn't very stars, but like beforehand, you know, these look more like something uh, Oji Suzuki would have. Um, actually, I'll, let me pull that out right now just to showcase the similarities that I'm talking about. But this is, uh, one second, this is the English version of um, Suzuki's single match short story collection published by Sean and Corley. But what I meant by that was just, if I were to find just a, like a landscape, I guess, some, like a lot of shadows, something like this. And you compare it to um, this. It's like something very Suzuki styled to me, in my opinion. It reminds me a lot. So borders on like Gekiga sometimes and Heta Uma, so it's interesting to see those two styles. The back of the book has more detailed art styles and works. So this is another short story collection by All Summer. Let me move this across. Haven't really flicked through this one either, but I'll showcase through that now. Oh, I can't wait to get into this. Yeah, um, Kano, Kano Osama's work is also hard to find sometimes. A lot of these Gara artists' uh, works are hard to find, to be honest. So it's a bit hard. Um, but I was very happy to finally, I was waiting for a couple of months to, for this to appear somewhere, to finally pick this up and some of his other short story collections. So one day I do want to do a video on Connor or Summit once I've read all of his stuff. Love that detail there. But yeah, Connor or Summit short story collections, both published in Garo. If I can, sorry, not not both. As in, he was published in Garo. This is 1982. And, oh, what is this? There's only 900 copies of this. Oh, wow. This is a copy of 211. And this one here, when was this published? 1982. Mm. No, that's the, oh, there's only 480 copies of this. That's why they're hard to find. Okay, that's why they're hard to find. Uh, these ones were published, these, these stories in this specific collection weren't published in Garo. They were in Comic Baku, Yagyo, I'm not sure how to pronounce that one. 2009? 2009? I will put the, the exact details in the notes. Oh, there we go. Yeah, 2009. So a later, a later short story collection by him. So yeah, that was Kano Osamu. And now... I, of course, am always looking out for Garo uh, issues, and this is just one of the many Garo issues I've picked up since the last time I've done a whole video. This, if you recognize, is Midori from um, Ma uh, Maruo Suehiro, Suehiro's most famous work. Um, and it's a 1993 May issue. So one of the later issues of Garo. And we start off with a big, big color page. Amazing color page on the front. And here is the table of contents. So um, because I haven't read like later 80s and 90s issues much, I don't recognize as many names. So You've got an interview by with Maruo. You've got a oh uh, Hisachi Michio is also in this. Who else? Nishioka Kyoto. No, yes, I do think Nishioka is in there. Oji Suzuki is in there. Who else is in here? Oh, Shiryagari Kotobuki, very present in Axe, or used to be present in Axe. Nekojiru, 
いただきのぶを QBB or different new authors, at least to me, new authors that I haven't counted before. This is amazing to have in color, in full color. I believe HoloPress was selling like copies of this, this artwork. Great stuff. Yeah, this, this one is um, quite in demand sometimes, like this, this specific issue because it has these model um, works. So I can't really show that, but yeah, here's the interview with model. I'll just skip over a little bit because some of it is <laughs> more pictures of him, which is cool to see. Yeah, but some of the stuff has uh, some works that I can't show. Okay, these are some of his lists, a list of some of his works. What do I recognize? Yume no Kyusaku. Oh, it's, yeah. We've got Maru Jigoku, the Shoujo Tsubaki, of course, DDT, Only You. I haven't seen Only You before. Paranoia Star, I've seen. Okay, so let's move on. We've got a, an actual chapter by Maru in this one. I do need to meet, read myself. Uh, read more model. So there you have that. Okay, let's just flick through the Gara issue in general. Always love picking up random issues and flicking through them. You get a lot of different art styles, a lot of different stories, artists from every walk of life, that sort of thing. I'll see if I can identify any. This is Nishioka Kyodai. Love Nishioka. I think I have every Tanko Born they've ever released. Gonna make a video on them someday if I'm less busy. I don't think I've seen this Nishioka. Oh, wait, maybe I have seen it. I recognize this little boat in the water. Got photographs. I'll just be careful. Some of them have nudity in them. Okay, we've got a work by Oji Suzuki which I don't recognize, does I don't think it, it is in a single match, I could be wrong, but I don't recognize it. A lot of, a lot of words in that one. This one, I don't, I don't know who this is. Oh, it is, um, what's his name? Mimiyo. Oh no, I, uh, I don't know the, the name of this manga, but I know they uh, were in the early issues of Axe. I recognize that art style and that character design. This, uh, don't really recognize either. Can't really figure it out. We've got some blue print now. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> A big, big double page spread with these two in all. Yeah, I'm not sure who did this either. So yeah, a lot of new artists in the 80s, 90s, 2000s, I'm not familiar with. I'm more familiar with the Garo mangaka who were serialized in the 60s and the 70s because I'm slowly working my way up. This one is by Shiryogari Kotobuki, famed uh, sort of later generation of Heta Uma artists. His Tankobon Jacaranda is really good. I highly recommend that. If you're looking to pick up stuff by him, Neko Jiru, specifically Neko Jiru, what is it? Neko Jiru Udon. Udon. So there's like other uh, different types of Neko, Neko Jiru works. I, haven't, I still haven't touched her stories yet, but looks great. Looks great. Looks like some funny stuff. Oh, who's this? Does it say? No. Oh. Aww. Itutaki Nobuo. Oh, I, I recognize the name. Haven't read anything from them. There's only just two pages, but I do recognize the name actually. They've released, I think, only one or one Tagobon. I don't think they've released much over the years, but. Is this Shinichi Abe? I think it might be. 
Oh, it is. Is it? I think I'm reading that right. Abe Shinichi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's an interview with him. Okay. An interview with Abe. And we, yep, oh, yeah, there we go. It is, that is, I recognize that Abe art style anywhere. Oh, it's cool that he has a story in here, like in the later issues of Garo. Yeah, I believe that's the last. Oh, you got some Nemoto. Takashi Nemoto, gotta be careful. Yep, too much, too many dicks, I can't show that. Um, is there anything else I can show? Oh no, well, the rest of it are just interviews, advertising, sort of stuff. And yeah, that was the 1993, oh, we've got one, uh, some advertising for Kino Hideshi. That's nice. But yeah, that was the 1993 May issue of Garo. Just going back to this, just more advertising. Suge Yoshiharu. Uh, oh, is this Hanawa? I think it's Hanawa. So this is Nejishiki. Pretty sure this is Hanawa. This... Oh... No, 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 my bad. It literally just says Suge. Okay, these two, sorry. <laughs> these two are Yoshiharu. We've got Nemoto Takashi and Oji Suzuki. Okay. But yeah, um, that was the 1993 May issue. I've got a... Got a bunch of other issues of Gara that I picked up, of course, but just for this video, I just went through that one because it seemed the coolest. And so, yeah, that was my manga haul, most recent manga haul. Got a bunch of stuff, a bunch of different books that I'm very excited to get into, but it's just a matter of time. Super busy at the moment. So, yeah, just recording these in advance as well. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.